Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Uh, today we have an interesting trip through time. We're taking a time machine trip. Um, I'm doing an unboxing, first ever on this channel. I know unboxings can be a little weird, but this one's uh, a little different from 1974. So let's get in the time machine and head back there. Okay, this is my first unboxing here on YouTube. I never did an unboxing before, but this one's really cool because I just came out of the time machine. I'm in, back in 1974. Got my tie-dyed shirt on, my bell bottom, some support and some long sideburns. And this is uh, where we're at. So let's go check out this groovy little uh, unboxing. What do we have here? Picked this up on eBay for a song and a dance. It was actually uh, $9 and $8 shipping. But what it is, which really cool, let's check this out. It is a refurbished Sears. This was a Craftsman drill. And let me zoom in on this sheet here. Where you can see okay, you could see if you look over here to the left, you could see here that it was dropped off at 730, 1974. And three months later, it was picked up October 10th. He paid for it, $13.25 paid to have this refurbished. That's when things used to be fixed years ago, long before uh, most of you were born <laughs> today. Everything is uh, just thrown out. Here's the repair tag, an old Sears repair tag. And it's you could just basically make out some of, uh, it was May Mayfield Road and uh, Ohio. And uh, this gentleman, it was from uh, a store number, 1130. Pretty interesting. So uh, here's the drill. Let's open it up, see what we got. Okay, here we are. Let's move this over. We don't want to get rid of that there. And here we go. Let's see what we have here now. Um, this drill, well, the, the lettering is pretty much worn off. You can't really see it here. But um, these, I like these quarter inch drills. And you know something, I, I have a bunch. You can see here that the body's not beat up too bad. And it's got a nice handle. Some of them had real short handles. And uh, the switch feels, let's try it out, see if it works. And the funny thing is, it's got a grounded plug. So a lot of these didn't come with grounded plugs. Now, I have a bunch of old metal drills. I like them. A lot of times you need a cord. Looks like maybe a new cord was on here. Excellent, right? And uh, the problem with the uh, electric drills with the early ones was that they uh, they said you could get shocked. I've never been shocked by any of mine. Maybe some people were, I don't know. But I know when you have a two-prong cord, you become pretty much the ground. And it, with a metal casing, uh, they came out with double insulated by the time I was doing any kind of drilling in the 70s. So let's, uh, let's go through this. I'm going to spray this down with a little bit of oil to chuck. Make sure that that's free and then we'll plug it in. Okay, here's where we're at. Uh, just wiped everything down. The, ta the chuck key was taped onto the cord with this tape that was... You ever see when electrical tape gets like this? It gets all gooey and it gets all over you. So uh, I wiped that down. It was right here. I wiped it down with some WD-40. Got all that uh, excess... Um, glue off everything looks good the chuck was very tight but uh i could see you could see the dried grease up here you know again 45 year old grease you know it's going to get dried up if it's not used so i just put a drop of the 50 50 acetone uh transmission fluid mix on here wiped it down i'll do some more you could see and then uh but it's nice and smooth now it looks like a new jacob's chuck i don't if the way it feels it don't look like it was ever used so maybe that's what it was in for a new chuck um, everything looks really nice. I, I'm pretty psyched to try it out, to, to, uh, test it out. Let's thing I noticed it. before we plug it in is, uh, this little piece was on here. Now, I don't know if that was, there was something on there that held the chuck key, which looks like it might be. I don't know. I've never seen this before. Has anybody else seen these? I know a lot of you guys have vintage tools. Ever see that kind of... I don't know what that is, that little uh, hook on there. It looks like, it, like I said, it was a lot of times they came with things to, so you don't lose these, but we always tied them on with string, made a special loop around here. So remember these, these were kind of a pain. I know a lot of new ones have the uh, keyless chucks, but there's nothing beats a, an old fashioned key chuck for certain bits. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's give it a shot. Oh, look at this. Not, I didn't even realize this is variable speed and reversible. Wow, look. Slow speed. Let's 
try the reversing function. Wow, I can smell, <laughs> you know, you can smell like the ozone from these old drills. It smells like when I was running my old Lionel train set, you know, you could smell, oh, I love this stuff. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge, huge. This is great. Let's drill some holes. Okay, let's try this out. <clears throat> we have the quarter inch bit put in there. This was usually a quarter inch bit capacity drill. Now, if you notice, there's a little button here. That's a lock on button. If you squeeze the trigger and push this button in, that would lock the trigger down so you can, you didn't have to hold the trigger. But uh, let's try this, uh, drill it right through and see what happens. Okay, I'm not lying. I got goosebumps right now. If you could smell that old grease coming through here, it's like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like a time warp. This thing is great, huh? Okay, that went really well. Now to uh, remove the bit, you know, you would take the key, put it in here and just give it a turn and uh, the bit would come right out. Um, to close it up, <laughs> we would just hold it sometimes and give it a quick a burst of the uh, drill to close the, you know, the top up. Everybody, I guess, has done that. Now, I wish my grandfather was still here because he had a way of tying... The ch these old chuck keys, he had a way he did a certain loop on here that uh, that was wrapped around and this thing would hang nice and, and then he had it on the cord that it wouldn't slide up and down the cord. It would kind of stay like two feet down on the cord so you always knew where it was and I don't have any of his drills that had that but he, and he even had a special string that he would use just for tying the, uh, the chuck key onto uh onto the cord so I, that's where i wish i wish he was around to show me how but this looks like a a new key too so it looks like maybe they they just did a new truck on here maybe who knows anyway 1974 it was fixed so who knows how old it is but it's at least 45 years old right it's a beautiful drill i love this will last outlast me for sure I'm a short timer anyway, but this will definitely outlast most of us. And uh, that's why I love these things so much. And that's why I have a little bit of problem with battery drills because, you know, they're planned obsolescence at its best. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this 1974 unboxing. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.